Hey guys, today we are going to go over a quick tutorial on how to make the fields of your PDF worksheets fillable. So some of our templates have worksheets that your clients can fill out, like our client welcome packet and our client workbooks. So you might want your clients to be able to go ahead and just type in their answers on those worksheets. It makes it easier, makes you not need to use a printer. So this tutorial is going to show you how to make those fields fillable in your PDFs for free. So what we're going to do first is make the fields fillable using a free software and then we're going to show you how to combine and like rearrange your PDFs so that they're exactly what you want and you can present them to your clients. So let's just jump right in. The first thing you'll want to do is open up your workbook in Canva and locate the pages you would like people to be able to fill out. And I would do these one at a time just because there is a 10 megabyte limit for the tool we're going to use. And if you have a really long PDF, like this one would be 37 pages, it's probably going to go over that limit and ask you to pay. So you want to keep each file under 10 megabytes and I will show you how to combine them and insert them back into your PDF for free as well. But you'll probably just want to download each worksheet for your clients by itself. So in this booklet, we have a few worksheets. We're just going to focus on this one for right now. It's page 32. So we're just going to download that one page in Canva as a standard size PDF and uncheck all pages. And we'll just go to page 32 and we'll go ahead and download that. So once we have our downloaded page and saved that to our computer, we're going to go to pdfescape.com and I'll link that down below in the description box so that it's easy for you to access. And we'll just want to choose or drop our file right here where it asks us to. So I'm just going to put that one page right now and then it will open that page up in our PDF escape here. And it's super easy to do this. It gets a little bit more tricky if you have like a lot of, of lines in your worksheet, like some of these would take a little more time, but it's totally doable. And for a free tool, taking that extra time is definitely worth it so that you don't have to pay for something more expensive. So I'm just gonna jump right back here and we'll wanna click on form field and it'll ask us what kind we want. We could do check boxes, radio boxes, drop downs, lists, submit buttons, the choices are pretty endless there for everything you could need to like create a fillable PDF. So we're going to go with text paragraph for this one. And then all we're going to do is click and it'll bring up the screen box, which we will align to where we're going to want people to be able to type something in. And I like to leave a little border and not bring it right to the edge. Then you'll just click again to bring up another and just Fill that right in and we'll bring our last one. And then up here, you'll be able to click on it and choose what font you would like people to be able to use. There's not a ton of choices, but you can change font, the size, bold or italic, the color that you want people's um, type to come out since this is a gray theme and that's obviously very tiny. You can try testing it in there and you can make it whatever size you think you'll want. And you can also adjust if you want more space or less space and you'll be able to see what that'll look like and then take it out in the end there. So once you're done, in order to download this, you will want to go to this green button right here that says save and download PDF and just click on it and it will download straight to your computer. So let me go ahead and open this up. Now our clients can type something in. And this is on the internet, but I would recommend that your clients download this file to their computers. If they download it, they can use Acrobat Reader to type in their fonts or they can do it in their browser and then save with or without their changes by hitting the download button. So now we are going to organize our PDF by inserting our worksheets with the fillable fields into our regular book. So we've downloaded the whole book and now we're gonna go to ilovepdf.com dash organize PDF or if you go to all PDF tools, you'll see it right there at the bottom. Just click on organize PDF. And then we'll select both of our files. We have the full book and our edited sheet. 
we'll go ahead and open them. And you'll see that they're two different colors so that you know which is which. And all you're going to have to do is then kind of drag it down by holding it and then scrolling with your mouse. So this is a lot easier to do with a regular mouse. It's going to go a lot faster than trying to like do it with your laptop, but it is possible. And you'll want to put it where it should go. I think I scrolled past. All right, so we'll put it right here. Our new one's in red, our old one is in blue. So we'll just want to delete this blue one so that we get rid of it and we have our red. And then we will want to hit organize after we've put all of our sheets in there. And then we'll download our file. So once we've inserted our fillable worksheets in the right places in our full workbook, we can see that if we scroll down to the one we just filled out, you're able to type in it and your client will be able to go ahead and download it with their changes, with their type in there. And you now have a PDF workbook with fillable fields for completely free using two free online tools and you can make the book pretty much as big as you want using those tools. I hope that tutorial was helpful to help you understand how to put together easy to fill out worksheets for your clients using all free software, no Adobe required, nothing paid required. As usual, code YouTube10, I'll put it right here, will save you 10% off anything on the website. So the template that we used in this tutorial, any other Instagram posts, Pinterest pins, workbooks, all of our templates, websites, you can get 10% off just for using that code. And I'll leave that below in the description box linking to the templates that we used. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next one.